Well, this is called a lock screen. So as you might know, Windows 8 have, has been optimized really, really, really for touchscreen based devices like tablets that are coming out or touchscreen computers. So the lock screen is essentially for touchscreen computers. So what I'm going to do is just click here. Now my, my mouse is inside, my pointer is inside the virtual machine. So I can just click and hold and drag this screen all the way up. And now I have unlocked it as, as you might be familiar with this action from a Windows phone. So this is actually a lot of Windows phone Metro UI stuff actually changed a little bit and scaled a little bit and got it into uh, Windows 8, got it into desktop computers for for 64-bit, I mean x86 and, and stuff like that. So, so that's what they did. They just uh, kind of grabbed the UI from the phones and changed it a little bit, tweaked it a little bit and put it on a computer. So that's Metro UI which we are having here in Windows 8 right now. So I would just log in and clicking on submit it's saying welcome and in just a couple of seconds it's gonna load up the main screen and this is this is pretty much the start menu so that's that's what you call start menu right now so you can flick through your applications probably with a touch screen you can just use your two fingers and not the scroll bar but yeah you can just go through as I have already mentioned I downloaded the 3.6 gigabyte version and I think this one does not include any of the apps, so I can click on Windows Explorer. The Windows Explorer actually loads up. Well, that's pretty cool. Here we have this new Windows Explorer that we have been told about. So Windows Explorer actually works. That's pretty cool. And if I, and as you can see here, that is the default uh, desktop looking just like just like a normal uh, Windows Windows 7 desktop. Here I have Internet Explorer. I wonder which. Oh yeah, that's that's Internet Explorer 9. So, so no changes here. Probably the other one, which could have been started from the Metro UI, probably has. Probably that that one is already been the, uh, Internet Explorer 10, which we have heard about it and we had some screenshots. So that's how the new Windows Explorer looks like. They already posted a video about it. Uh, the Microsoft folks so you can just check it out here you can see valuation copy build 8102 win main stuff like that so it looks yeah it's an authentic uh, Windows developer preview Windows 8 uh, uh, installation which I have here so if I click start I just get back to the Metro UI I want to so show you the control panel because that works and that is a Metro UI based application First of all, what I've noticed is that I, if I do the two finger scrolling, it is really smooth. It is, it is almost as smooth as, the, as on a Mac. I'm not sure if you feel it through the video, but it is really following my finger just like just like a Mac does. And and yeah, so so I heard many times, we heard it many times that Microsoft have been optimizing the scrolling smoothness on Windows phones while well, they did the same on the desktop computer so so good job there then really that that is something something really cool so I really like that if I go to here to the right here I have personalized here I can change the lock screen image again the smooth scrolling works and then I can change the pictures I can set up some notifications that should show stuff on the lock screen well, that's that's mainly useful for for tablet users, I guess, because they just wake up the device and then look at the lock screen and just they see if they got a new email or they have new news or something. Going to the user tile here, I can change my my tile, which is currently only the the profile picture, which it grabbed from the Windows Live uh, system. If I click on here on the left, it goes back. I have users here. Yeah, it's only me. Why all last notifications? Well, here I have some apps. So if I can enable notifications for these apps, probably I can start them up. Well, I will just start try those later. Okay, going back, and it's still a developer. I wouldn't even call it the developer alpha. It's something before an alpha. So. So I would never recommend it to to install it for for daily use, not even on a daily 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 use computer. Using it in a virtual machine is actually kind of fun and it, it's pretty smooth. 
Well, as you can see, if I don't move the the pointer, the then the scroll bar actually disappears after some seconds. So if I wait a little bit, and here we are. So no scroll bars. Once I start scrolling, it shows up. Well, that's something cool. If you click on more settings, then it goes back to the desktop, which is pretty nice, neat animation. And here is our well-known uh, control panel from Windows 7. Oh, here I have different options, like saying settings. Yeah, I have devices. I wonder what this does. Oh, the application does not support printing or play and playing or sending at this time. Well, cool. Okay, that does not work. Sharing. I can share share a screenshot from a desktop apps. If I click on that, I have social lights, so I can uh, I can share a screenshot through that. That's oh, that's pretty cool. And going back to the start, and if I go here, just not clicking, just going to put the pointer here, I have this little menu. I think probably when you're using a tablet you have to tap here I'm not sure if I'm gonna go search then I have this search which is really 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 similar to what we what we see on on uh, Windows phones and if I click Internet Explorer I can search for it but I cannot get it started up five in a row that's probably something like like a game I guess if I click start I, I'm back to back to the main menu or the main screen and if I click on use yeah that does not work so okay uh, I think that's pretty much showing you just a little bit around how Windows 8 looks like in the current state as you can see installing it in a virtual box does work you can use it you can test it you can you can try out some features you can try out some apps uh, also if you download the full uh, 4.7 uh, gigabytes version if I'm right you will have more apps you will have the software development kit so you can use that too to start developing a new app for that for it and as far as I know Microsoft said that Windows 8 will be hitting the stores probably one year from now maybe maybe a little bit more as we all know Microsoft usually tends to tends to uh, can be late on, on releasing stuff so so I'm not sure when this is gonna hit the stores but it's it's definitely a good start and I can see how this new interface for tablet users could be useful but I really really hope that for normal notebook users like me using a touchpad and a normal screen they will release something different something uh, like the desktop here which is which wouldn't be a much much of an upgrade from Windows 7 but it definitely would be something different but if if for notebook users we would have to use this interface uh, I wouldn't really like that so as you can see with a mouse it's it's totally not that fun it's actually a messy and it's not it's not uh, user friendly at all so I would say you can you can only uh, use this on a tablet but it's definitely a start and I can see how Microsoft is trying to change the, their vision about an operating system so I will I, I will leave like that so that's 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 my opinion about it so logging off and if we get lucky we will get back to the lock screen when I previously recorded the video it just started actually just froze here oh well I, we didn't get there we will try to log off again and let's see hopefully we'll, as you can see it's still developer oh here we are so here we are the lock screen again I push it up and I can hit the shutdown button and that was it so thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you will try out Windows 8 on your computer using VirtualBox based on my tutorial so thank you and goodbye